Good evening, basketball fans. Welcome to Blackhawks tonight. Senior night here for the Braves. As Blackhawk Christian, 12 and 11 on the season, gets ready to take on Heritage. The Patriots, 7 and 14 on the season. Good evening. Welcome. This is Brian Greenwald along with Paul Suvar tonight. And the last game for both these teams heading into sectional. And, uh, Paul, what are we expecting tonight out of this one? Well, I, I tell you what, tonight, Brian, uh, I think the key word will be pace. Heritage loves to slow play the ball. They want to slow down and just play at um, <laughs> extremely slow pace. Uh, it's going to be challenging for uh, Blackhawk Christian tonight to uh, stay patient and uh, still trying to maintain their sets, uh, stay disciplined on defense, and uh, do the best they can to try and speed up Heritage to play at uh, a pace that they're more comfortable with. Past couple games, Blackhawk Christian has looked to uh, add the pressure, press the opponents. You got to look for them to do the same tonight. Heritage uh, undersized against Blackhawk Christian, especially in the backcourt, and you got to look for them to take advantage of that. Absolutely, yeah. There's a distinct size advantage that Blackhawk Christian has tonight, um, really across the board. Uh, tallest player for Heritage tonight uh, is going to be uh, Jack Way, about six five. Uh, Braves front court goes six seven six seven. Yeah, I wholeheartedly expect uh, Blackhawk to start their inside out game um, by pounding it into Drake Thompson and finding Rick Holt. Nice senior night uh, ceremony before the game here tonight, honoring the six seniors on the basketball team along with the three senior cheerleaders. So now we're going to get ready to go down to public address announcer Darren McCown. We'll have a word of prayer, the national anthem, and of course our starting lineups.
I will use that tonight. That's fun. That's fun. All right, recapping the starting lineups. It's a senior night lineup for Blackhawk Christian. Starting Rick Hall and Will Davidson, Will Ben and Ben Walters. Those are the guys you're used to. Also starting tonight, Cody Murphy and Dylan Gawley. So an all-senior lineup. For Heritage, we have Kanapke, Jackway, Renninger, Lomo, and Beard. And looks like we got Jackway going up against Hall for the tip-off here. As we're ready to tip off another night of Hoosier basketball. Here's the tip. Blackhawk Christian controls. Dylan Gulley will play the point starting out here tonight for the Braves as Heritage goes man-to-man. -man. Davidson has it right side. Dribbles to the top of the key, passes it over to Hall. Shoots a three-pointer. No good off the front of the rim. Jackway with a rebound for the Patriots. Kanapke brings it up for Heritage. Blackhawk backing into a 2-3 zone here. Left side to Renninger. Jackway gets it over to Lomo. Outside to Renninger. Renninger gets it left side. Down low to Beard. Beard goes up with the hall with a block shot. Beard gets it back. Looking for help. There's Jackway. Out top to Lomo. Lomo looks left side to Kanapke. Outside Jackway now. Gets it over left side to Lomo. Kanapke now has a heritage of being very patient with the ball. This is this is their game, Brian. They uh they want to be very, very deliberate in their offense. Uh, they want to try and lull you to sleep on defense here and exploit any kind of backdoor cuts, uh, wide open layups that they can get. They're averaging only about 46, 47 points a night, so this is this is no surprise. On the baseline, there's Beard. Gets it out to Kanapke for the three, mm. and it's good. There it is. I mean, their patience pays off. Swinging the ball side to side, uh, probing it down to the, the short corner there on the left baseline, kicking it out to Kanapke. Wide open three, nice touch for him. Gully now has it for the Braves. Gets it over left side to Rick Hall. Hall now to Davidson. Davidson looks to penetrate. Ben Walters, left side three. Nice. It's good. There we go. Ben Walters starts off where he left off uh, the last game there after he hit eight threes. A new school record. Cans his first one tonight here for Blackhawk. Six minutes remaining. 3-3 three, three is the score here early on. Heritage has it left side with Jackway. Now Kanapke has it, top of the key. Gets it over to Renninger. Jackway thought about the shot, didn't take it. Kanapke will. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Tip out, Heritage controls the possession. Here comes Jackway now, right side. The lefty gets it back out to Kanapke. Over now to Lomo. Jackway over to Renninger. Murphy on the defense there. Lomo has it out top. Jackway, three-pointer on the way. Long, no good. Davidson with the board. Here comes Will on the fast break. Drives a little bit right side. Gets back out to Hall. Walters has it now. Cody Murphy left-hand side. Out to Davidson. Davidson double team. Gets it out to Walters. Dylan Gawley now looks right side. Nice Cross court to Davidson. Davidson with the penetration. Left-hand layup. No good. There's Jackway with the board for the Patriots. Not bad, though. Uh, Blackhawk's going to live with that, that look there from Davidson. Cutting hard into the baseline. Left side scoop. He's got that uh, capability, that skill with his left hand to lay it up, and it just didn't fall this round. Lomo has it left hand side for Heritage. Jackway gets it over Kanapke now. Lomo top of the key. Blackhawk's still packing in their 2-3 zone. Jackway baseline now to Beard. Beard looking to get it out. Gully with the steal. Here come the Braves. Here comes Dylan Gully. Nice. Nice layup for Dylan Gawley. Yeah, good floater right there. He took it hard. Nobody stopped him. Uh, main priority on defense is stop the ball. Nobody did with Dylan Gully. He took it right in the lane. Floater up and in for two. 5-3. Blackhawk with the lead early on here in first quarter. Jackway now has it out to Renninger. Right hand side to Lomo. Heritage very, very content to pass around the interior, the exterior, excuse me. Kanapke now gets it out to Renninger. <laughs> Left hand side now. A beard out there. Oh, felt like Novocaine, I'll tell you what. Just uh... <laughs> Lolly to sleep and hoping to get, <laughs> hoping to lull the defense to sleep. And there it is. Renninger, three pointer, no good. Tip rebound, Davidson has it. Yeah. Here come the Braves looking to push. 
Ben Walters, long three-pointer right-hand side. It's good. Ben Walters, two for two tonight from downtown. He's looking to break his, his record from last night, hitting eight. Well, it lasted one game. I mean, that's really too long. <laughs> Patriots going for the layup there with Lomo. Knocked out of bounds. Heritage will retain possession. There you go. Another senior, Jared Fiedler, in the ball game for Blackhawk Christian. He replaces Cody Murphy. Nice. Braves looking to go a little bit taller there underneath. Lomo now has it. Now Kanapke out top. Braves will continue to pack into the 2-3 zone. Heritage tossing nod to the perimeter there. There's a beard on the left-hand side. There's Ring Renninger now. They'll drive a little bit, pass it back out to Beard. Beard looks baseline, takes it back out instead. Here's Kanapke now, right-hand side. Renninger tries to get it inside the free-throw line. Stole, steal by Gully. Yeah, great defense there. Get your hands in the passing link. Tip that ball away. Gully picks it up. Jared Fiedler knocks it somebody down. Doesn't get the layup. Tries again. Back up no good. There's Rick Hall over there, though. Nice. Hall with the rebound, basket, and the foul. Yeah, significant. I'll tell you what, Jared Fiedler got that ball on the left block. It was very aggressive. Uh, went up hard with it. Got his offense and own his. He picked up his own miss and put it back up again. Waiting for Rick Hall to pick up that miss. Count it. Go to the line for one. Fouls on Jack Jackway. His first for the Patriots. Renninger checks out the ball game for them. Number 22, Riley Shane, the junior in for Heritage. Rick Hall completes the three-point play. Nice. 11-3 now. Blackhawk with the early lead. 2.45 remaining here in the first quarter. Yeah, here we come with the press now. A little zone press here. Heritage breaks it with ease up to Kanapke. Now Lomo. Blackhawk back into the zone. Kanapke has it top of the key. Gets it over to Jackway. Jackway cross court now to Kanapke. Three point corner is good. Yeah, great screen right there by A. Beard uh, to spring up Kanapke uh, from the right hand corner there. He cashes in from deep. Second three pointer of the night for Kanapke. The sixth point for him and for the team. Davidson now left hand side drive. Let right hand layup is good. Yeah, that is pretty. Will Davidson penetrates in and it just glides to the basket. Kisses it off the glass for two. Patriots break the zone press, but don't go for the fast break. Instead, take it back out. Strict orders to not <laughs> not, not pick up the pace. Thou shalt not shoot the ball early. <laughs> Patriots now have it outside with Kanapke. Playing pass with Shane out there. Now you got Jackway on the right-hand side. Cross court again to Kanapke. Defense collapses on him this time. Now he has it back outside. Here's left-hand side, Jackway. 2-3 zone seems to be bothering the Patriots here early on. Not getting any open looks, except for a couple there by Kanapke. Thought about the long three by Shane, but he passes it up. Kanapke now. Shane looks inside to Jackway, doesn't get there. Here's Lomo now. Lomo thinks about the three, takes it from the left-hand side. No good. Davidson right there at the rebound. Yeah, that's the key. You know, if, if Heritage is going to play this slow play here, you've got to clean up on the boards and close out the defensive possession. Dylan Gawley with a nice drive on the left-hand baseline. Looks to get it out to Fiedler. Foul called on the Patriots. Yeah, it's almost demoralizing to play defense for about a minute and a half and then give up an offensive rebound and play for another minute and a half. So good job by Blackhawk early here, boxing out, maintaining their assignments, and uh, closing out those defensive possessions by picking up the rebounds. The foul is on Kanapke. Heritage gets the inbound steal. Here they come on offense, down 13-6. to six, Just over a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Heritage left-hand side with Jackway. Gets it up to Shane. Back over to Jackway. Kanapke now left-hand side. Jackway drives on the block. And throws it up no good. Davidson there with another board. Here come the Braves. Davidson has it left-hand side. Gets it to Gully. Ball now up the top to Walters right-hand side. Down on the block to Fiedler. Davidson looks inside. Penetration. Feed the Fiedler. Nice. Nice. Look. Nice shot in the foul. Well, I tell you what, Will Davidson is at his best when he's attacking the rim. He's either creating shots for himself or creating shots for his teammates. He's able to draw defense to him as he cut into the paint, um, finding Fiedler there on the right-hand block. He went up strong, got the harm, got the hoop, converts the three-point play. 
three points tonight for Jared Fiedler. 16 to 6, 41 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Penetration there by Jackway. Gully called for the foul in the backcourt. Yeah, Dylan's first, team's first. Good hard trap there by Blackhawk Christian. They'll live with that aggressive play by Gully. Um, Heritage, yeah. That, anything Blackhawk can do to try and speed up Heritage here. Um, trapping, applying full court pressure. Heritage again breaks the press, does not elect to go forward. Pulls it back out. Probably look for the last shot here with 25 seconds remaining. That's quick for them, goodness. It's almost like a shot clock here. <laughs> yeah. Now we're down to 17. Holding the ball out there for the last shot. Blackhawk brings their zone out a little bit but stays in the 2-3. Here we go now with 10. Kanapke has it. Looks for the pass now. There we go. Stone by Blackhawk. Here they come with Gully. Gully's going to take it all the way. Tries for the layup. The referees call it out of bounds against Gully. Heritage takes it. Mm, tough call. Tough call. Gully uh, took it hard to the basket there. Appeared to be a little bit of contact, but... Uh, not enough for the refs to call a foul. Jack with a long three-pointer, no good there at the buzzer. We've reached the end of the first quarter. Your score, Blackhawk Christian 16, Heritage 6. We'll hear a word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with second quarter action. Are you taking the first step towards a healthier you, or are you just tired of the same workout? From beginners to fitness veterans, the Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is the place for you. We offer a full range of workout equipment, personal trainers, certified instructors, a full line of classes, an indoor pool, and so much more. Have peace of mind when you work out with child care available. The Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is so much more. Join today. Visit fwymca.org. Hi, this is Dale from The Voice Enterprises. For countless years, I struggled with back pain. And more often than not, the doctors would just prescribe pain meds, which would just dull the pain. It wasn't until I was referred to Indiana Physical Therapy that I truly experienced pain relief. The professionals at IPT showed me the correct exercises and stretches for my problems, and my back pain began to fade away. Join. Welcome back to Senior Night here at Blackhawk Christian with the score of Blackhawk Christian 16, Walter Kanapke 6. <laughs> Kanapke, the only person to score so far for Heritage, has knocked down two three-pointers there in the first quarter. We start here with second quarter action. Blackhawk brings in the sophomore Drake Thompson and the freshman Lucas Croft. Here's Jackway with a little floater jump shot, no good. Walters with the rebound for the Braves. Yeah, Jack has been quiet early here. He's their leading scorer for Heritage, averaging about 13 points a night. Uh, leading rebounder as well, averaging about six per game. Um, smooth lefty, kind of a swing man for Heritage. Good call out of the corner with a corner for Blackhawk. Yeah, nice stroke, good find there again. Deep left corner. Rick rises up, knocks it down. Here come the Patriots. Kanapke right hand side. Gets it down to Abe Beard. Back out to Kanefki now. Blackhawks still packing in their 2-3 zone. Looks like Ryan Freimuth has joined the ball game for the Patriots. Here's Jackway now left-hand side. He drives in, runs into Thompson, gets it back out to Kanefki now. In the corner there for the Patriots is Beard. Back out to Kanefki and over to Lomo. Still passing around the perimeter. They've only got really one player kind of looking underneath. Otherwise, all their penetration is the only way they're getting underneath so far. Yeah, they are they are perimeter-oriented right now, trying to find those lanes. Jackaway with the drive. Davidson with the steal. Here comes Will. Left-hand side. Fast break. Left-handed layup. No good. Rebound goes to Lomo. Nice play there by Davidson, taking it all the way. Just couldn't quite get the layup to fall. Yeah, aggressive play there again. That left-handed sweeping layup by uh, Will Davidson is... Uh, is deadly. Uh, just didn't convert this round. The Patriots, for the most part, have had four players around the perimeter with only one roaming the inside so far. Here's Jackway coming in. Here's the screen. Lomo for three is good. Billy Lomo with his first basket of the night. 30-second timeout here by Heritage. 
Yeah, that's that's part of Lomo's game as well. Uh, he hits from deep uh, fairly consistently well, almost a 40% shooter from downtown, which is uh, a pretty respectable uh, percentage from that distance. There's a similar play that got Konecki open uh, there in the first quarter. They set a screen for, uh, for Lomo there. And uh, Blackhawk just didn't pull around the screen in order to get get there, and Momo nailed the three-pointer there. Yeah, good good shot by him. I tell you, if you look at the score right now, 19 to nine. I mean, ten points early second quarter. You really wouldn't think much of that, but at the pace that Heritage plays, ten points is tremendous. I mean, because they're looking to get up a shot once every you know minute and a half, two minutes. I mean, they're they're talking ten. If they hold Blackhawk scoreless, and if they're completely 100 percent efficient, it's just claw back in the game and tie it. So 10 points pretty significant right now. Blackhawk looking to extend that lead as they bring the ball up the court after the timeout. Here comes Davidson. Penetration. Kick out to Rick Hall. Left side all alone for the three. No good. Rebound goes to Jackway. Here come the Patriots. Kanapke bringing the ball up the court. Gets it to Lomo there on the left hand side. Kanapke seems to have the ball in his hands almost every possession out top. He's going to go underneath a little bit as Jackway comes up top. Now Freimuth on the right-hand side. Gets it to Lomo. Lomo looking in. Gets it out to Kanapke. Freimuth now looks for the three. Doesn't take it. Jackway has the right-hand side. Drives against Tall. Nice defense there by Rick. Pulls it back out to Kanapke. Jackway again. Looks for the three. Doesn't take it. Now cross court. Another pick. Another three by Lomo. It's good again. You know what? For as patient as they uh, as patient as they are on offense, I mean they're getting good looks. These last two possessions, you're absolutely right, Brian. They're setting back screens, freeing up um, their man on that floater out on the perimeter. They're hitting. Rick nice. Hall misses the three. That's great. Drake Thompson, the biggest man on the floor right now, uh, gets himself good position underneath the basket, cleans up that offensive rebound, puts it back in for two. That's three straight wide open three-pointers from the left-hand side from Rick. He nailed the first one. Just been a little short on those other two. 21 to 12, Blackhawk Christian with the lead. Four and a half minutes remaining until halftime. Heritage with the ball. Jackway up top. Gets it to Kanapke and over to Lomo. Lomo looking cross court instead to Kanapke. Jackway finds Freimuth. Looks inside the beard. Beard has it against Thompson. Drives all the way. Layup no good. Rick Hall with the rebound. Here comes Blackhawk. Davidson looking to penetrate. Walters all alone. Get Three points. Ben Walters hot as a firecracker, folks. He's got three threes on the night. Uh, two in the first quarter. The first one here in the second quarter. You won't find very often that Ben Walters has his feet set and is in motion. He's going to miss that three-pointer. He is. He is like butter. Good on bread? What? Oh, okay. Never mind. Kanapke now has it left inside. Jackway looks to drive. Find the right open for three. He nails it. Yeah, good. Good offense there. Again, patient. Patient by Heritage. Finds Frymuth on the right hand corner. Rises up, catches in from deep. In case anybody questioned the importance of the three pointer in today's ball game, all of their points on three. As Drake Thompson with a nice layup underneath. That is that's a great point. I mean Oh, nice. There we go. Got a turnover there. Pressure applied. Uh, Rick Hall is able to uh, convert that turnover as it goes off of Heritage leg. Possession goes back to Blackhawk Christian. Evan Renninger back in the ballgame replacing Kanapke. Kanapke gets his first break of the ballgame. Coach talks to him about that backcourt play as Blackhawk gets it into bounds. Walters looks inside to Thompson. Instead gets it out to Hall. Davidson left-hand side. Walters now has the top of the key. Heritage still playing man-to-man -man here. Rick Hall looks underneath uh, Thompson. Croft down there as well. Now as Davidson looks to penetrate to get his man. Turnover. Freimuth with the steal for Heritage. Nice defense. Nice hands there by the Patriots. Yeah. They were playing like a, a, an extreme pack line defense where they are getting everybody in the paint trying to help on Drake Thompson. So they're trying to protect him as much as possible. Um, that's going to leave some of our shooters open here as the night progresses on. Renninger now playing the point for the Patriots with Kanapke out. Freimuth has it to Jackway now, guarded by Ben Walters. Takes the inside, out to Lomo, three-pointer on the way. No good, but Lucas Croft picks up the foul on the shot. Three shots coming for Lomo. 
A little over aggressive there by the, the young freshman uh, on the closeout. Uh, got into Lomo's body. Uh, unfortunately, as Lomo was coming down, ended up landing on, um, on Croft. Goes to the line for three. First shot by Lomo is in and out, no good. Two more coming for the senior. Yeah, you're right, Brian. 15 points to Heritage, Heritage's name right now, all coming via the three-pointer. First opportunity to score anything beyond that here at the free throw line. Second free throw is good. Sassenhausen in for Blackhawk Christian, replacing Lucas Croft. Lomo gets ready for his third shot here. That one is up and in and out again. No good. Rick Hall with another rebound for Blackhawk. Ten-point lead for the Braves. 2.20 remaining here until halftime. Davidson brings the ball up the court. Ben Walters looks inside to Thompson. Instead goes out to Sassenhausen. Hall over to Davidson. Now he looks for Thompson. Instead uses him as a pick. Gets it over to Luke. Now Walters top of the key. Sassenhausen down to Davidson. Now they're going to spread back out. Yeah, Again, looking into Day, or to Thompson it's instead. Almost, almost a matchup zone of sorts. I mean, they are really trying to help out on Rick Thompson. And there goes Ben Walters again. Ben Walters halfway to his school record already. <laughs> Four threes on the night. 12 points for the senior. He's on pace. He's being very judicious here. Two a quarter. That, that'll get it done. Jackway now bringing it up for the Patriots. Drives. Gets it over the front. Down to Jackway now in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Short. No good. Flymouth fights for the rebound. There's Ben Beard gets up, and they're calling him for the travel because he got up without keeping the dribble alive. Yeah, that's the right call right there. I, I was wondering whether they're going to call a push or a blocking foul, but um, he actually had his knee down on the ground and rose up from it. That's without dribbling, that's a travel. Yeah. Good, good call by the official. He took his time to explain the call, explained it to the coach on the way down, and now Will Davidson will bring it up for Blackhawk. Looks out, Walters, oh another set three. That one is no good, but there's Thompson underneath. Thompson with the bucket and the foul. Nice position underneath by Drake. Yes. Yeah. That deep three there by Ben Walters put it up. Uh, and they're, they are committing heavily to Drake Thompson in the paint. Um, part of their fronting technique to try and uh, keep the ball out of his hands allows Drake to get inside position there for the offensive rebounding. He's just so big, rises up. Cashes it in. And there's the free throw. Seven points in the quarter here for Drake Thompson. Obviously, the sophomore didn't start tonight here on senior night. Came in here in the second quarter and has picked right up with the offense here. Jackway now for Heritage. Looking for help. Gets it with Renninger. Renninger on the dribble. Gets it left-hand side now to Lomo. Cross court to Jackway. Down to Beard. Beard looking for help. Gets it to Frymuth. Steal now on the court. Rick Hall. Home for the jump ball. Possession arrow goes to Blackhawk. Uh, Coach Davidson's going to love that. Watching it on the film. Ball goes on the ground. Rick Hall dives right after it. Seniors leaving it all on the floor tonight on senior night. Nice hands to knock it away as they try to get it underneath. And then Hall goes down on the floor after it. Blackhawk Christian takes possession. 32-16 to 16 lead. We've reached under a minute to play before halftime. Davidson looks for the penetration, gets it out to Sass. Hall has it left-hand side. Now Walters, here's Davidson on the right. Davidson looks for a little penetration. Spin move, gets it out to Luke. Luke now over to Davidson. Tough pass, Will gets it. Three-pointer on the way. No good off the back of the rim. Nice rebound by Ben Walters. Rick Hall, Luke Sassenhausen. Davidson from the same spot. He misses that one, but there's Walters again. Tries to get the shot up. Knocked out of bounds. Blackhawk Christian retains possession. Yeah. A couple deep shots there. Uh, ended up resulting in long rebounds. We're able to clean up on the offensive boards. Ben Walters ultimately comes up with that. Good defense there by Heritage to strip the ball from him. But ultimately, the ball stays on this end of the floor, retained by Blackhawk. Riley Shane checks in for the Patriots, replacing Renninger. Here's Rick Hall now, top of the key. We're under 20 seconds remaining in the quarter now. Ben Walters has it, looks to the coach for the call, as we're under 13 now. Walters will take it again under 10. Walters now with 7, gets it out to Davidson. Davidson looks to penetrate there with 4. Is. Walters wide open, 3 pointer nice. on the way, it's good! Ben Walters, 15 points there in the first half. 
your halftime score. Blackhawk Christian 35, Heritage 16. We'll be back with second half action after a word from these sponsors and a little halftime break. In the swimming revolution, a Michael Phelps signature swim spa by Master Spas lets you swim in your backyard year round. Swim, exercise, or play in water that's always the right temperature. Experience the Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spas by Master Spas this weekend at the Master Spas Showroom, 7102 Lincoln Parkway, and save thousands. I'm Michael Phelps. Join the swimming revolution. The University of St. Francis Marching Pride is getting ready to debut later this year, and you could be the next member of Fort Wayne's only collegiate marching band. I get to be part of a new tradition here in Fort Wayne. Make new friends before classes start. Helps reduce my tuition costs. The University of St. Francis is now holding auditions at our talent scholarship days, beginning Friday, March 4th on the USF campus. For more information, contact the University of St. Francis at 399-7700 or online at art.sf.edu. T.W. Fable, a modern American restaurant, is located inside the clubhouse at Timber Ridge Golf Course at 2330 East, 250 North in Bluffton. You can enjoy a fine dining experience Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 5 to 10. Kitchen closes one half hour prior to lounge. If you are looking for a great spot to have lunch, visit 250 Grill to enjoy some sandwiches, wraps, salads, and appetizers. T.W. Fable Restaurant, 2330 East, 250 North at Timber Ridge Golf Course. Reservations recommended by calling Are you taking the first step towards a healthier you, or are you just tired of the same workout? From beginners to fitness veterans, the Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is the place for you. We offer a full range of workout equipment, personal trainers, certified instructors, a full life classes, an indoor pool, and so much more. Have peace of mind when you work out with child care available. The Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is so much more. Join today. Visit fwymca.org. Hi, this is Dale from The Voice Enterprises. For countless years, I struggled with back pain. And more often than not, the doctors would just prescribe pain meds, which would just dull the pain. It wasn't until I was referred to Indiana Physical Therapy that I truly experienced pain relief. The professionals at IPT showed me the correct exercises and stretches for my problems, and my back pain began to fade away, and as a result, my entire body began to feel better. Indiana Physical Therapy's highly trained professionals treat all types of injuries and ailments and accept all insurance. For more information on IPT or to schedule an appointment, call 824-0522 or visit indianapt.com. Join the swimming revolution. A Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spa by Master Spas lets you swim in your backyard year-round. Swim, exercise, or play in water that's always the right temperature. Experience the Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spas by Master Spas this weekend at the Master Spas Showroom, 7102 Lincoln Parkway, and save thousands. I'm Michael Phelps. Join the swimming revolution. The University of St. Francis Marching Pride is getting ready to debut later this year, and you could be the next member of Fort Wayne's only collegiate marching band. I get to be part of a new tradition here in Fort Wayne. Make new friends before classes start. Helps reduce my tuition costs. The University of St. Francis is now holding auditions at our talent scholarship days, beginning Friday, March 4th on the USF campus. For more information, contact the University of St. Francis at 399-7700 or online at art.sf.edu. 
TW Fable, a modern American restaurant, is located inside the clubhouse at Timber Ridge Golf Course at 2330 East, 250 North in Bluffton. You can enjoy a fine dining experience Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 5 to 10. Kitchen closes one half hour prior to lounge. If you are looking for a great spot to have lunch, visit 250 Grill to enjoy some sandwiches, wraps, salads, and appetizers. TW Fable Restaurant, 2330 East, 250 North at Timber Ridge Golf Course. Reservations recommended by calling Welcome back to Black Cock Christian here, senior night on West State, on East State Boulevard, excuse me. I work on West State Boulevard. <laughs> 35 to 16 is your score, Black Cock Christian with the lead here at halftime. And it's gone pretty much the way we thought here in the first half. Heritage has gotten a snail's pace offense, yep. really slowing everything down. Black Cock Christian's pushed it a little bit, and both teams from three point range. Yeah, absolutely, really. Uh, we're talking about 15 of the 16 points that Heritage has right now coming from downtown, coming from deep. Um, so really, I mean, that's where they've, they've been relegated. They haven't uh, taken the ball to the basket uh, a whole lot. Um, really, the looks that they've been getting have been coming from uh, from three. And really, the looks that they've been getting, for the most part, um, have been contested, uh, save for just a couple of those open um, screens set up by those uh, those backdoor screens, those back screens by um, those wing players. And so. the 16th point actually came on a three-point attempt <laughs> yes, that's right. where there was a foul. So, in a way, all 16 points have come via the three-point attempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Blackhawk Christian, Ben Walters has led the way for them. 15 points in the first half. 
all of them on three-pointers. The Blades have six three-pointers in the first half. Yeah, boy, it is. The, the perimeter attack continues um, to roll here for Blackhawk Christian. Uh, it's impressive. Ben Walters is coming off hitting eight threes in the game. Um, the last game out here, he's got five in the, the first half, so he's on pace to break his own record that he set uh, just a few nights before. The question may be, will he be in long enough to do it? Yeah. He's got the 19-point lead here. Obviously, the coach is going to want to look at uh, lots of different lineups, lots of different players possibly here in the second half as we go toward the sectional next week. Yeah. And uh, we're going to start out here with, uh, I'd say, more of our normal starting lineup with yeah. Drake and Lucas back in there uh, to start here the second half. Patriots will start with possession as we begin the second half of play. Yeah, Blackhawk goes back to their 2-3 zone here. Konefke back out to Jackway on the left-hand side. Konefke over to Winninger. Three-point in and out, no good. And here's Drake Thompson with the rebound. Yeah. Here come the Braves. Credit Blackhawk quite a bit in the first half for uh, really focusing on Jackway. He's the leading scorer for Heritage. Held him scoreless. Really, um, every shot that he put up was contested. Um, so, I mean, yeah, give, give the Braves credit for, for focusing in on the leading scorer for Heritage there. Yeah, he hasn't even had a lot of looks in the ballgame, really. Sure. Had a couple drives, a couple uh, looks for three, but he really hasn't been uh, a big part of the offense so far. Davidson drives, gets the ball knocked up, but they're going to call the foul on the drive. Foul against 20, Jackway. His second foul of the night. That's the other thing we brought up at halftime, a very fast-paced... I, I say that, and it sounds strange, but... Only five fouls total in the first half, and so it was a very fast first half. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of stoppage time, for sure. Rick Hall with the layup good off the inbounds. Nice, that's a pretty inbounds play right there. Finding Rick Hall cutting into the lane. Soft hand, soft touch, put it up off the glass, getting it in for two there for Rick. Blackhawk with the steal. Nice. Here's Davidson. Up, no good. Rebound Rick Hall. Up and good. Wow, a lot of contact right there on Rick Hall. Strong move to the basket. Floats it up off the glass again. Another quick two for Rick. Heritage now trying to break this press. Kanapke has a right-hand side, and the Blackhawk backs off into the 2-3 zone. Frymuth into the ball game early on here in the second half. He's down in the corner. Renninger now has a left-hand side. A beard looking free throw line extended. There's Frymuth on the right-hand side. Looks inside. There's nobody even down there to pass to. Renninger, long three-pointer, no good. Nice block out by Hall, but blocked out so much he fell down. Walters tries to go on the floor. Here's Jackway looking for the drive. Nice block by Thompson. Jackway gets it back. He's going to penetrate. Nobody really picked him up there. Look for the no-look pass. Heritage wasn't there. Blackhawk takes possession. Boy, great example right there of keying in on Jackway. Uh, he cuts it in hard to the lane, drives it up, tries to have a step-back jumper. Drake Thompson is right there with his 6'7 frame and his big old paw to swat it away. Walters now right-hand side. Heritage stays in there man-to-man -man defense. Here's Walters nice. left-hand side. Nice alley-oop to Hall. He there comes you know. down, but he still gets the layup. Six quick points here in the third quarter for Rick Hall. 12 points on the night for Hall. 41-16, to 16, extending the lead. Renninger to Lomo to Kanepke. Kanepke with a three. Kanepke's got a nice stroke on him. That's his third three on the night. Uh, they're finding him. He's hitting, the, yeah, the South Paul's hitting from downtown. Heritage calls for the full timeout here. That three-pointer makes it 41-19. to Blackhawk Christian with the lead under six minutes to go. We'll be right back. Are you taking the first step towards a healthier you? Or are you just tired of the same workout? From beginners to fitness veterans, the Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is the place for you. We offer a full range of workout equipment, personal trainers, certified instructors, a full line of classes, an indoor pool, and so much more. Have peace of mind when you work out with child care available. The Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is so much more. Join today. Visit fwymca.org. Hi, this is Dale from The Voice Enterprises. For countless years, I struggled with back pain. And more often than not, the doctors would just prescribe pain meds, which would... Join Welcome back out of the timeout. 5.49 remaining in the third quarter. 41-19. Blackhawk Christian with a 22-point lead. 
Right, right, thanks to Rick Hall with six points here in the second half, making him 12 on the night. And the Braves will have the ball. Looks like Heritage switch, switches up to a zone. That may have been what that timeout was for. Backing off into the 2-3 zone, which leaves Welchers wide open. Left hand side. Boy, he's, he's picking up the second half. Uh, where he left off in the first half. Hitting threes. Ben Walters cashes in from the left corner there. Gives him the 6-3 for the night. Six. Lomo, three-pointer off the front of the rim. Gets his own rebound. Push-off foul against Blackhawk. Yeah, nice nice follow there by Lomo. You know, uh, being the shooter, you've got a pretty good idea whether or not you've shorted that ball to the rim. He recognized that. Crashed hard to the lane. Picked up that rebound. Put it up. Created some contact. Was able to draw that foul. Go to the line for two. Lucas Croft picks up the second foul of the night. Lomo to the free throw line. First shot in and out. Wow. He had two of them go in and out there in the first half. <laughs> that's, a, that's the third time he shot a free throw. And it's going halfway in and crawled back out of the rim. The rims are not kind. <laughs> not, not tonight. So what do you do? Don't hit the rim. <laughs> Just put it straight through, yeah. And nice shot there by Lomo. Eight points on the night for the senior. Here comes Blackhawk. There's Ben Walters. <laughs> Rinse, wash, repeat. Ben Walters cashes in for his seventh three of the night. We've got five minutes left in the third quarter, folks. Here is Heritage now on offense. Lomo gets it to Kanapke. Gets it out to Renninger back in the ballgame for the Patriots. Lomo now right-hand side. Blackhawk still packing in the 2-3 zone. Extending it here against the shooters, packing it in against the inside players. There's Renninger for three off the front of the rim. No good. Nice block out by Walters. That's great fundamentals right there by Ben Walters. Nice rebound there. Davidson with the penetration here. Rick there Hall is. gets over to Walters. He's yes, got three Ooh. off the front of the rim. No good. Nice board by Thompson. That's great. 6-7 frame there by Drake Thompson. He's able to clean it up. Oh, we get a turnover Steal here. by Blackhawk. There's nice. Hall with the layup. Rick Hall, eight points here in the quarter. Opened up a 31-point lead. Yeah, that's all of a sudden. It's a blink of an eye. Good grief. Here's the Patriots back on offense now. Looks like their best player, Jack Way, not even in the ballgame right now. Yeah. So we're looking to see who can step up and score for them. Lomo, left-hand side. He looks like he wants to be the man, and there's the three-pointer. Nice stroke by Lomo. He does. He's he's their best three-point shooter percentage-wise. He's, I believe, hit the most on the year for them as well, so he's hitting with uh, consistency. Lomo with 11 points tonight for the Patriots, by far their leading scorer so far. Lucas Croft has it out on the left-hand side for the Braves. Heritage staying in their man-to-man -man defense. Actually switching up to it. They went to his own for a little bit and left a wide open shot and went back to the man-to-man. -man. Here's Davidson now, backing his man in. Clint around, no good. And looks like they'll get Will for going over the back. A little too aggressive, trying to get his own rebound there. That foul is on Davidson. That's his first tonight. Yeah. Ben Walter was jumping up and down, waving his arms all over the place on the right wing. <laughs> he, was looking, he was looking to cash in on that 8-3 tonight. Fiedler and Gully into the ballgame for the Braves, replacing Davidson and Thompson. A couple seniors getting some more playing time here on senior night. Nice hands there by Lucas Croft. Heritage having trouble with this full court press all of a sudden here. Yeah, that's that's what that really Blackhawk was looking to do. They were trying to employ full court press, speed them up, wreak havoc, create turnovers here. That's what they've done this, uh, thus far tonight. The first half, they kind of just disrupted them, slowed them down a little bit. Second half here, they're causing turnovers. There's Rick Hall with the layup and just misses. Heritage gets back with possession. Jackway back in the ball game, bringing the ball up the court for the Patriots. There's Lomo for three. Off the front of rim, no good. Nice block out again by Walters. Walters with that long rebound for Blackhawk. Here comes Gully. Croft has it left-hand side. Looking inside the hall and say he's going to drive baseline. Nice. Outside of Walters. Get the blocking foul on the baseline as Croft drove baseline. Yeah, cut, cut it in hard there. Left his feet. Uh, somewhat fortunate he didn't get the charge picked up on him, but uh, I think that the purpose of his penetration was to try and find that cross-court pass and Ben Walters sitting out there on the right wing, which he did. They just picked up that blocking foul before he was able to um, pass it over to him. Gully gets it into Croft, looks for the three-pointer, right-hand side, off the, limb, off the rim, no. 
Here comes Jackway for Heritage. Jackway looks to Lomo on the right-hand side. Jackway's been deferring some of the second half here to Lomo, trying to pick up the scoring. Good point. Lomo out to Jackway. Jackway will look to drive now. Loses possession. Rick Hall gets the steal for Blackhawk. And the Braves will slow down a little bit here. Ben Walters thought about the three. Decided not to. Now Goli will set up the offense for Blackhawk. Walters out to Hall. Back over to Goli on the left-hand side. Goli looks to drive. Nice spin move. Gets it out to Hall. Three-pointer on the way. It's good. That's pretty basketball right there by Dylan Goli. 17 points on the night for the senior Rick Hall. 54 to 23 is your score. Just under two minutes remaining now here in the third quarter. Here comes Heritage with possession. Lomo gets it to Jackway, right-hand side. Here's Lomo now. Out to Shane. Lomo now has it right-hand side. Jackway on the baseline there. Lomo over to Shane. Thought about the three. Didn't take it. Beard tries to do a little screen for him. Lomo back out to Shane now. Gets it to Lomo and back to Shane again. Now he'll take the three. Front of the rim, no good. Lomo, though, with the rebound for the Patriots. Right, good aggressive board there by Lomo. He was, able to, he was able to find that lane, get that crease in there. Uh, one of the deficiencies of a 2-3 zone, some might say, is uh, just block out assignments. Um, Lomo is able to crash in there, slice in, get that offensive rebound, and pick up a foul. And then Luke Sassmanhausen into the ball game for Blackhawk, replacing Croft and Hall. Inbounds pass. Lomo with the three. He's got a good stroke, Lomo does. 14 points for Billy Lomo tonight for the senior. Tell you what, and he's, he's rising up too. I mean, there's not, not a whole lot of hesitation on his part right now. I mean, they're down big, so I mean, the, the idea of patience on offense probably isn't very prudent. There's Walters. Yes. Three oh. Oh. Come on now, Ben Walters. Get yourself your eighth three tonight. You still got a minute left in the third quarter to play. He's going to try and break his own record. <laughs> one, hold it just one game. That's crazy. Tim, second call against the Patriots. They couldn't get the ball across the court. <laughs> Everybody on the bench, fun to watch that, the Blackhawk bench right now. I mean, they are pulling hard for Ben Walters. The referee's looking at him, too, though. They may be a little close to the court. He's telling him to sit down. <laughs> Looks like the coach is going to keep Walters in there. He's made some substitutions, but I think he'd love to try to get Ben another three here for that for another school record. Let's give him a chance. Steal here by Patriots. Here comes Shane. Look at the ball. Nice steal by Sassmanhausen. Sassmanhausen up the court. Just a little too hard on the pass. Now, Coach Davidson calling off the press here. Patriots ball. Yeah, that was a good look by Luke Sassmanhausen. Just led um, Jared Fiedler a little too much into the lane there. He actually looked him off. He looked off the defender who was going out to cover Ben Walters. Slung it inside. Just a little too much muster on that. Here's the Patriots now. 17 seconds left in the quarter. Lomo, Shane, three-pointer on the way. Front of the rim, no good. Another rebound. Nine seconds remaining. He's putting this up. Eight seconds. Quentin Holman back out to Walters. Putting it up. Yes, sir. Rebound by the Patriots. And that's the end of the third quarter. Your score, Blackhawk 57, Heritage 26. We'll be back with fourth quarter action in just a moment. Join the swimming revolution. A Michael Phelps signature swim spa by Master Spas lets you swim in your backyard year-round. Swim, exercise, or play in water that's always the right temperature. Experience the Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spas by Master Spas this weekend at the Master Spas Showroom, 7102 Lincoln Parkway, and save thousands. I'm Michael Phelps. Join the swimming revolution. The University of St. Francis Marching Pride is getting ready to debut later this year, and you could be the next member of Fort Wayne's only collegiate marching band. I get to be part of a new tradition here in Fort Wayne. Make new friends before class helps reduce my tuition costs. The University of St. Francis is now holding auditions at our Talent Scholarship Days, beginning Friday, March 4th on the USF campus. For more information, contact the University of St. Francis at 399-7700 or online at art.sf.edu. Welcome back to Blackhawk Christian tonight. Brian Greenwald along with Paul Suvar. 
beginning the fourth quarter here. The score is 57 to 26. Blackhawk Christian with the lead and the ball. Cody Murphy has checked in for the Braves for Ben Walters. It doesn't look like we'll get the three-point record from Ben tonight unless the coach decides to try to give him another look later in the quarter. Wow. I'm guessing that won't happen, though. Jared Fiedler, nice pass from Dylan Gulley. Yeah, good look right there again by Dylan Gulley. Driving hard into the lane, drawing defense, finding a wide open. Jared Fiedler to put in that easy two. Shane over to Jackway. Jackway drives baseline, goes up against Fiedler. Re layup no good. Fiedler with the rebound. Jackway, the leading scorer for the Patriots, still held scoreless. Cody Murphy off the bank for the three, no good. Here come the Patriots. That's a great point. Jack Wade, leading scorer for Heritage, held scoreless. I attribute that to Blackhawk Christian. You know, their defense has been definitely bent towards him. Oh, there Lomo, Lomo. With another three. Boy, he's trying to catch up to Ben Walters. 17 points tonight for Lomo. Five three-pointers for the senior. 59-29. Blackhawk Christian with the lead. Sassmanhausen gets it over to Gully. Gully, nice spin move. Tries to get inside the feed. It does. Basket is good. That is great. I'm really impressed with Dylan Gully right now. Um, his ball handling ability, his his willingness to find open men, to draw and kick, draw and slash, draw and dish. He's really doing a fantastic job here um, starting tonight for Blackhawk Christian. Shane for three. Good for the Patriots. Yeah, smooth lefty uh, stroke there by Mr. Shane. A lot of lefties on the team for the there Patriots are, here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. 61 to 32 score tonight. Golly gets to Murphy. Steal by Jack there. This may be his first points of the night. Here he comes. Fouled and the basket is good. Jack Jackway finally gets on the board for the Patriots. Fouled by Cody Murphy. Cody Murphy may have been better off just leaving him alone there for the layup. M might have been in that instance right there. He was trailing him all the way uh, into the basket. Um, Jack Jackway was cutting that to the other side of the rim, being a strong hand because he's a lefty. Uh, he's able to put that in with the horn, get the hoop, go line for one. Jackway won the lefties. Up and good. Completing the three-point play. Yeah, good for him. You know what? Being a senior, um, he's putting a lot of time here for Heritage. Glad to see him. Tip out of bounds by Jackway. Glad to see him get in the, the scorebook. Uh, again, very much so attributed to Blackhawk Christian's defense. They have uh, they put the clamps down on him. Still playing hard, though, as evidenced by that defensive play. Golly to Fiedler. It's a connection. Fiedler needs to take Golly out to dinner after the game. <laughs> by Six points. Old steak, yeah. Six points in the quarter here for Fiedler. I think all of them on passes from yes. Dylan Golly. Yeah, served up on a platter. Patriots coming back here on offense. Shane with it for the Patriots. Gets it to Jackway. Cross court to Connor Simmons in the ball game now for Heritage. Gets it inside to Beard. Beard up against Fiedler. Gets it back out to Simmons. Shot no good. Nice block out by Holman, but it gets into Lomo's hands. He's got it again. Nice hustle inside by Billy Lomo. Well, they're still playing hard. You know, they're crashing the boards. They're looking to get uh, extend possessions out there. Lomo is, is working as hard as he can, uh, getting those offensive rebounds, putting it up strong here. Fortunately for him, he got fouled. He gets to go to the line for two free throws. First one's up. And good. Lomo with 18 points tonight. He's done his part. He's got half the points uh, accounted for here for Heritage thus far. So, I mean, you, you got to tip your cap to Lomo and the performance he's put forth here thus far, too. Second shot again in and out. He's been so close on so many free throws there tonight. Sure has. 63 to 36 the score now. Dylan Gulley has it up top. He again looked inside the Fiedler. Knocked out of bounds though. Blackhawk retains possession. He yeah. had Jared again there on the block. He did. He did. Uh, it was uh, that lane, that passing lane closed ever so slightly. Ricocheted off of a, a Heritage player's leg. Cody Murphy inbound three-pointer. No good. Lucas Cross dying in there nice. for the rebound. That was that was a great hard nose rebound um, in traffic. Croft went up, got his mitts on that thing, came down with it, uh, was fouled on his way down. Foul on the play, a beard. It's a pitch first foul of the game. Blackhawk gets it inbounds here. Lucas Croft gets it out to Gully. 
Gawley with a little spin move again. Cut off, though. Gets it out to Holman. Holman looked inside the Fiedler. Gets it across court instead to Croft. Croft with a nice drive. They calling for uh, Palmer the ball there outside. Turnover goes to Heritage. Yeah, man, maybe, maybe a 50-50 call on that one. Uh, I don't think Coach is going to be too upset uh, with that play. Fans calling for somebody there on the bench. I think they're calling for Ben Walters to come back in the ball game. I think they want another three-pointer from him. I'm going to see him crank it up again, yeah. Here's Simmons out here for Heritage. Blackhawk stays packed into their 2-3 zone. Little screen there. Now Simmons will take the three-pointer. Off the front rim, no good. Nice block out by Fiedler. Gully comes down with the rebound. Fiedler behind, or, I'm sorry, Gully behind the back with the dribble. Just a really good decision there by by Dylan Gully. Really good decision. I mean, he... And then, unfortunately, not so good there. <laughs> okay, give Throws it away. Oh, nice look at that. hustle, though, underneath. Looks like they're going to call him for the foul, but it was nice hustle trying to get back there against Jackway. Gully with his second foul of the night. J.P. Visser checks in the ball game for Jared Fiedler. The senior checks out with nine points tonight. Nice game inside there for Fiedler. Here comes the other senior, Dylan Gawley, out of the ball game. Kellen DeBus checks in for the Braves. Four and a half remaining here. I'm going to guess that this will be the lineup pretty much that we'll see the rest of the game. Yeah, it's Maybe another substitution here and there, but Lomo with a nice rebound for Heritage, and it's going to go out of bounds to the Patriots. That should be interesting to see again um, what kind of defense they're going to try and employ on this one. Like they stick with a 2 3. Nice inside play there again by Lomo. Yeah, nice out of bounds play right there. Lomo cut hard to the rim. Inbounder found him right at the front. Fortunately, Kellen was uh, coming to bust a little bit behind him. Slapped him on the back of the head. Lomo makes the shot, goes to the line for one. Nice free throw there by Lomo. 21 points for the senior tonight. Really nice ball game for Lomo. Good for him. Blackhawk, here's Croft with the drive. Tries to get in the bus. Tipped away and will stay with Blackhawk Christian. Nice. Coach Davidson, I think, has selective hearing. I don't think he hears what the fans <laughs> are chanting for here. I don't think he's going to put Ben Walker in the game here. You know, he doesn't want the impression that he's trying to pile on to Harrod here tonight or anything yeah. like that. So yeah, that's the... Kind of like, kind of like parenting, right? I mean, you, you give them what they need, not what they want. Right? <laughs> there you go. JP Visser out top for Blackhawk. Lucas Croft now, freshman with the dribble out top. Cody Murphy now, the senior, has it up there. Holman there for three. Go. In and out, no good. Rebound to Jackway. Heritage, as you mentioned, still playing hard. Still trying to get the scores here as Lomo shoots the long three in and out. And here comes Visser. Oh, we had Cody Murphy on the breakout, just didn't see him in time. Here comes Visser up now. Holman looked at the three again, no good. Croft has it out top now. Gets Cody Murphy, long three-pointer on the way. Front of the rim, no good. Rebound by Visser. Foul called against Heritage. Yeah, good defense, uh, good offensive board positioning right there by J.P. Visser. Goes up strong, prowls that ball in. Heritage ends up slapping him on the arm. He picks up a foul. Possession ring, uh, maintained here by Blackhawk Christian. Underneath, Croft has it. Gets it inbounds to Cody Murphy. Murphy has it to Croft. Almost loses it. Gets it back. Visser now has a left-hand side for Blackhawk. Oh, boy. Cross-court pass. Tipped away by Jackway. Here comes the senior. Aggressive drive up and going good. And lots of contact there on the play. Nice tip out there by Visser. The bus got it. Got a lot of contact on that play there. There we go. We got a lot. Very much so. We got, we got some physicality on both ends of the floor going on right now. Foul on Jackway is his third of the night. Coach, is, uh, Coach for Heritage trying to ask what, what exactly happened down there on the play against his star player. Referees uh, kind of swallowed the whistle on that one. Yeah. Trying to keep the clock moving. Inbounds to Visser now. Out to Cody Murphy. Doesn't take that long three-pointer. Visser now has it back out to Murphy. This unit getting a little bit uh, a little bit sloppy on the passes. The Busk now has it on the baseline. Oh, nice. nice play, though, into Holman. Holman up to two. 
tell you what, Kellen DeBus, uh, he does have some, some passing skills to his name there. Uh, last game out, we saw that on display, a couple behind-the-back passes, uh, finding open men. Again, that one, great example. Drives hard in the lane, finds uh, Quentin Holman right in the middle of the paint. Riley Shane, no good. A Beard with the rebound. Nice block by Visser, but they'll call a foul on the play. They may actually call it underneath on DeBusk. Yeah. Yeah, they get DeBusk on the body underneath instead of Visser up top on the block. Yeah, Visser got up pretty, <laughs> he got up pretty high to block that shot. DeBusk with his second foul on the night. A Beard is going to go to the free throw line here. He'll have two shots. Looking for his first point of the night. First shot is up and off the front of the rim, no good. He's got a little hitch in his giddy up there on the free throw. Walter Kanaki, who hit a few three-pointers there in the first quarter. He comes out replacing Jack Jackway. Jackway, the senior, leaves tonight with three points all here in the fourth quarter. Second shot for Beard. Good. Unorthodox but effective there for uh, Mr. Beard. Beard gets his first point of the night for the sophomore. He comes out replaced by Ryan Frymuth. 65 to 40 is our score, just under two and a half remaining in the ball game. Parody picks up some full court pressure here. Holman looks to get it in. He does to Cody Murphy. Murphy's going to dribble it up, gets the pass to the bus, and behind him to Fox. Cody Murphy for three off the front of the rim, no good. Visser tries to save it, out of bounds to Heritage. Yeah, nice hustle there by JP again, trying to crash your offensive rebound. Uh, just had a foot out of bounds there when he picked it up. Ball goes back to Heritage. Here comes Simmons for the Patriots. Gets it inside to Frymuth. Looks like they'll pick up Cody Murphy on the reach in there against Blackhawk. Looks like a few more substitutions possibly coming in here. Actually, that foul will go against the bus, not Murphy. Okay, yeah. The bus picks up his third foul. Quick ones. Malcolm Smith comes into the ball game for the Patriots, for replacing Lomo. Well, a good game for him. 21 points I have for for Lomo for the night. I think you're right. Nice job there by the senior. We'll get some of these younger guys a little playing time here. Frymuth, his shot's up and good. Frymuth's fourth point of the night. Yeah, when you, you start looking at the numbers here, uh, it's 65-41. Uh, they're about on point for where they average on the season. Uh, they really are. You know, mid uh, to high 40s here for Heritage. You know, mid to high 60s, low 70s here for uh, for Blackhawks. So they're kind of playing to form right now. J.P. Visser left hand side for the Braves. Pass almost stolen. Cody Murphy has it. Aggressive defense by Heritage. They will be called for the foul. Now go up against Malcolm Smith just in the ball game. Gets his name into the scorebook with a foul. That's his first. Team's sixth foul of the half. Inbounds here for Blackhawk. Croft gets it into Visser. Visser dribbling against Smith. Heritage stays in their man to man. Visser now driving in the lane. Gets it out to Lucas Croft. Croft looks inside to Visser. Oh, Visser get ahead. Croft, Croft tripped. Heritage comes out with the steal. Yeah, just got his feet tangled there for a second. Good thought there by Visser, though. DeBusk, brick wall inside. There we go. Ran into and gets his rebound. Way to hold the position there by DeBusk. Three-pointer on the way by Holman is good. Right, again, that's, that's a rhythm three there for Quentin Holman. Able to set his feet, get his momentum going towards the basket. Uh, just like Ben Walters. If he gets his feet set, he's dead here. Heritage thought about the three-pointer there and said passed it out. Here's Simmons. Blackhawks remains in the 2-3 zone. Here's Kanapke, three-point on the way, no good. Rebound by Visser. Here comes Croft for the Braves with a minute remaining in the game. Cody Murphy, long three-pointer. That's no good. Rebound goes to Heritage. Here they come on the fast break. All the way to the lane. Shane up and good. Shane with two points. That's five on the night for him. Full timeout by Heritage. Score is 68 to 44. Blackhawk with the lead. 50 seconds remaining. We'll hear from a sponsor, and we'll be right back.
EW Fable, a modern American restaurant, is located inside the clubhouse at Timber Ridge Golf Course at 2330 East, 250 North in Bluffton. You can enjoy a fine dining experience Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 5 to 10. Kitchen closes one half hour prior to lounge. If you are looking for a great spot to have lunch, visit 250 Grill to enjoy some sandwiches, wraps, salads, and appetizers. TW Fable Restaurant, 2330 East, 250 North at Timber Ridge Golf Course. Reservation recommended by calling 260-353-1360. Welcome back here as we're going to wrap up Senior Night. 50 seconds remaining in the ball game. Devin Donaldson checks in for Blackhawk. Gets, gets his chance to play here at the end of the varsity game. Some substitutions for Heritage here as well as we're reaching toward the end of the game. Blackhawk has it out of bounds. Holman looks to get it in, does to Donaldson. Donaldson, the lefty, pulls it up in, on the sideline, gets a blocking foul. And I think we'll go into the bonus here. Yep, uh, we're in the, in the free throws now. Foul on Riley Shane is his second of the night, seventh. And Devin Donaldson will step to the line. Looking to get into the scorebook with a one and one. Yeah, good, good tune up here tonight for uh, Blackhawk Christian as they look towards sectional next Tuesday night. Um, nice to see them continue to work on that uh, that two three zone. Uh, employ more of a, a full court press of sorts, a trapping uh, press there to apply pressure on Heritage. Uh, a lot of things they worked on tonight that are going to be beneficial for them and help them out in the tournament to come. Here's Simmons for Heritage. Gets it inside to Sprague in the ball game. Long three-pointer, no good by Shane. Rebound out of bounds. And they're going to keep it with Heritage. 70 to 44 is our score. We have 35 seconds remaining here. Heritage looking to get a couple other guys in the scorebook here at the, as we wrap up the game. Inbounds to Shane. We got Simmons on the left-hand side. Jump stop. Now he's going to shoot. 